Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be introducing BB Press. So it's come to that time where we finally introduce BB Press and start talking a little bit about what it is. So for the first part of this section, we've been mostly focusing on Buddy Press. So Buddy Press is cool and all, but when combined with some other plugins, that it can really be useful. So one of these that it's commonly used with is BB Press. So what is BB Press? So Similarly to BuddyPress, it was created in the intent to allow users more freedom and more features. So, you know, they could only reply and comment. But what BBPress and BuddyPress originally wanted to do was to sort of add more features. However, as time went on, they went down their different routes. So pretty much the aim of BBPress was to allow users to comment and not only comment, but create their own posts. So imagine it like this, pretty much for the majority of WordPress's life, only the administrator or the owner of the site or anyone who had access to the backend, so administrators and editors, could create blog posts. What BBPress wanted to do is allow users, just regular old users, to create their own blog posts. Now, instead of allowing them to just create regular old blog posts, they actually made their whole own section for it. So instead of having just blog posts, they grouped it all up into forums. So let me talk a little bit about the hierarchy of how it works. At the very top level is forums. Now, forums cannot be created by any user. It has to be created by someone who has access to the back end. But then as you get deeper into each forum, you can then create topics, which the administrators can't create, but you, I mean, you can create it, but the users can also create these topics. And in each topics, people can make posts, leave threads, replies, everything like that. The only part that isn't available to access is the actual forums itself, which is at the very top level. So let's talk a little bit about BBPress versus BuddyPress. This is a very common debate and a lot of people don't really know the difference between the two. So let me explain this here. BuddyPress was made to add social interaction into your website. It was made so that you could chat with your friends, join groups, and do all sorts of things. But the main key that you have to take from here is that BuddyPress was created for social interaction between friends and groups. Whereas BBPress was made for social interaction through writing. So let's just talk about this one more time. Again, it's a pretty confusing. They're both meant to add more social features. But BuddyPress is mainly about interaction and chatting and a more casual feel, whereas BBPress was made with a more forum approach where you can create threads, replies, posts. So those are, those are like the main differences. Now, there's obviously a lot more and there's also similarities, believe it or not. But just know that they're two very different things. But then when you join them together, they can actually create something very great because they're both based off of the WordPress user system. So having the same user system for two plugins means you can join them together and create some really amazing websites, which is what we're going to do now. All right, let's move on.